Today, we're gonna talk about the lever movement body weight system. This is an ultra cool tool to have at home for so many reasons. Let's get into it. Hi, I am running coach and author Amanda Brooks of Run to the Finish. The idea behind a body weight system like lever is that as you utilize it, you will put on these fancy snancy shorts that have a little hook on the side and then a tension cable is literally going to reduce the amount of body weight that you are using to run. So you may have seen a machine similar to this in some physical therapy office that are wicked expensive. So it is pretty amazing that we have something that we can use at home. So the lever comes in basically two pieces plus the tension cord, making it extremely easy to put together. It has a carrying case as well. So if you are someone who is traveling to the gym, you can easily use it at the gym. You can put it on almost any treadmill. As you can see, super fast to put on. I think it took me longer to put my shoes on than to actually just put the lever on. Um, all you're doing really is tightening the straps down on each side of the handles, and suddenly it is super sturdy and ready to go. Now, you might think the only usage for this is injury, but that is not actually true. There are actually multiple times that you might use it. So whether that is coming back from an injury, it is actually adding some mileage and reducing your chance of injury, or you're working on things like some speed and footwork and turnover. So there are a number of different ways that even I myself have been using this over the last couple of years. Let's go through them in a little bit more detail. One of the reasons I love something like this so much for coming back from an injury is that it allows you to do the actual movement that you're wanting to return to, but with less force and less impact. So it's great that we can go swim and it's great that we can bike. We've got to do whatever we can, but if you can start walking sooner, if you can start running sooner because you can actually reduce the amount of force, then you are more quickly getting back to those brain patterns, getting back to your body, knowing how to do this, using all of the right muscles. So with something like this, you can take off up to 45 pounds of your weight. So say you're a 150 pound runner on day one, that means you could actually only be applying 105 pounds of pressure when you are running. That is a huge reduction in load on your knees, on your shins, on your tendons, on your ligaments. So really helpful if you were coming back from any kind of surgery. Really helpful for a lot of folks with Achilles issues, plantar fasciitis, even shin splints where you feel like no matter how much or how slowly you increase your mileage, it keeps coming back. These are some ways to give the body a little bit more time to adapt to what you're asking of it. So you could start, like we said, where you're only putting in 105 pounds of pressure, and then each week you back that off a little bit till you're able to do your entire body weight. From there, it's still a useful tool because maybe you still use it one or two days a week as you're progressing out of that injury. I've actually used it coming back from both injury and from COVID. So from COVID, my mileage dropped so drastically because of the fatigue levels that when I wanted to come back, I knew that if I threw this in there one day a week, it was gonna keep my heart rate way down on that day, but I was still gonna be getting in that turnover, that movement, that cardio. And so I could still get in a little bit more mileage in that slow build back without tearing the body down. In that same thought process is using this to increase your mileage. So during my Chicago marathon training buildup, if there was a day where I wanted to get in a double because I was trying to bump up the mileage for that week intentionally, the lever came in handy for that second run. I know a number of runners who tend to get injured when they increase over a certain mileage, but they also can tell they're not quite hitting their potential because their mileage is limited. 
So this gives them an option to start getting in that little bit more mileage with less intensity on the body. Over time, your body does adapt to these kinds of things. So then they could run that higher mileage without worrying about injury. Now, the third time that people actually use this, I love because it doesn't get talked about enough. So I remember this very clearly with that other machine I talked about that is so expensive. NBA players would go in and very specifically do high speed work in it because they had a lower chance of injury, but they could really, really work on that turnover, that foot placement, like how their legs needed to pump and everything. This is your at home way to do that. So when you feel like you've been hitting that plateau with speed, you pop on the lever and you do some of your speed work in it. Obviously we're not doing 100% of our speed work in it, but this is our chance to play, to test, to just know like, what does it feel like when I crank the speed up past where I've done it before? And what's my leg turnover like? That is a lot of the reason that we do running drills, right? We are trying to get that brain connection into what it's supposed to feel like to have a knee drive, to have your foot landing. And this is again, creating that neural pathway. We don't want you to have to think about it during a run or during a race. We want your body to know what it's supposed to feel like and then put it all together to do it. Besides the really cool shorts, one of the best things for me about using lever, honestly, is that I'm not required to use it. So I can pull it on and off the treadmill at will anytime I need it. So it really is available for you to use in the way that's best for you. I know you will probably think this is just for elite runners and certainly you will see a lot of them use it. They have used it to save their seasons from injury or to build up smarter, but honestly, I know a lot of folks that are just like you and just like me, we are the everyday middle of the pack runner um, who has really found a lot of benefit from it. Whether that is simply thinking about our long-term running and thus being able to do it because we can handle injuries or handle mileage, it really is that kind of functional tool that you'll get a lot of use out of. As always, I am super happy to answer any questions that I can, so feel free to drop them below and let me know if there's any other big running tools gear that you're interested in and I'll see what I can do.